Hi, this is your math prof again, and we're going to do some graphing, finally. And we're going to graph in two ways. We're going to graph uh, by calculating points on paper, and we're going to graph by making the calculator do the work. All right, let's do paper first. This is an equation in what we call slope-intercept form. It's one of the two forms of an equation. And we have negative 3 over 2x plus 3. OK, now we're going to get points on this line. I'm going to make an xy table. And all you need for graphing in my math lab is two points. So when you have a fraction in this position, it's much easier to choose a multiple of 2 or 0 for the x. So for instance, the two easiest x coordinates for me, and you'll see why, would be 0 and 2. And then find out what the y is, because this is in y equals form. So any number I calculate over here will give me what y is. OK. Now if I have negative 3 over 2 times 0 plus 3, what is negative 3 over 2 times 0? What is anything times 0? It's 0. So I'm left with a 3. Now, what if I say negative 3 over 2 times 2 plus 3. Well, that's exactly the same thing as negative 3 over 2 times 2 over 1, right? 2 over 1 and 2 are exactly the same number. Only now look, this 2 and this 2 cancel out, leaving me with negative 3 over 1, which is negative 3. So I'll have negative 3, and then the plus 3 from here. And what is negative 3 plus 3? It's 0. So when x is 2, y is 0. Now I can come up here. And I can graph those points by doing the following. Click on the little glass up here, the eyeglass. That will make the graph bigger for you. Now, choose what's called the line tool. You see the name appearing there. I'm going to go click. And now I'm going to click on the first point. How about 0, 3? 0, 3, I start at the center. Um, I'll go 0 in the left or right direction, which means I won't go in the left or right direction. And then I'll go 3, oops, up. 1, 2, 3. And I'll click. All right. Now I'm going to go to 2, 0, so I'll go back to the center. And I'll go 1, 2 to the right, and then 0 up or down and click like that, and I'm done. Now I'm going to save, and I'm going to check my answer. And it says I did nice work. Now I'm going to do the same thing with a calculator, but I'm going to get a similar exercise. How about y equals negative 1 half x plus 2? I'm going to turn, oh, let me move this up a little bit. I'm going to turn on the calculator. Ah, I do have to calculate my points, don't I? I think I'll calculate over here. OK, I'll have y equals, oh, I don't have to do that. That's right. All right, here's how, what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. Click on the Y equals button. Right there. Now, take negative 1 half X plus 2. Right here, I'm going to use the negative button, not the minus button. Negative 1 divided by 2. 
Okay, now I'm going to say X. I get all of my X's from this button right here. Click. Negative one half X plus two. All right, that's the equation of my line. Now I can graph it just to see what it looks like. And I can find two convenient points just by doing the following. Push the second key and then push the graph key. Don't push them together, but say second, let up, and then graph. Now here, by going up and down with the, the up and down scroll keys, you can find a lot of points. Now there's no reason to choose a point that has a decimal in it. We can just choose two whole numbers. Like for instance, we could choose the point 2, 1, and we could choose the point 4, 0. Why don't we choose 2, 1 and 4, 0? Okay, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make the graph larger by put, putting on the, uh, uh, the spyglass there. I'm going to click on the line key. And let's see, my points are 2, 1. All right, so I'll go out 2. I'll start at the center, like always. Don't click on it, though. I'll go out 2. And don't click yet. Up 1. Now click. Now I am going to go to 4, 0. So I'm going to go back to the center, but don't click. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, Four. There it is, kind of hard. Um, since the second coordinate is zero, I'm not going to go either. I'm not going to go up or down. I'm just going to say click. And then I'm going to save my graph and click check answer. And it said well done. So you can do this with your graphing calculator or you can do it by hand. Let's try another problem. How about 21 here? As long as I have the calculator up, let's do that problem. Click on Y equals and hit clear. The clear button clears everything away and you're ready to start over. Here we're dealing with the equation Y equals negative 3X. So to get negative 3, you push on the negative button, then the 3 button, and then to get X, you click on this button right here that has X as the first letter. Now that gives me Y. Here it's Y1, but that just means the first Y equation. Y equals negative 3X. If you want to see what it looks like, you can click on graph. You don't have to. Because you're being asked to graph it here, and to graph it here you need two points. So click on second, graph and your points come up. Pick any two points you want. How about the first two? Negative 1, 3 and 0, 0. We can do that. I'm going to click on the little spyglass, click on the line key, and I'm going to start at the center but not click. I go to the left one and up 3, 1, 2, 3, click and then I go down to 0, 0, which is the center. The center is always 0, 0. Click. Now I save. I check answer. And I'm told, good job. That was so much fun. Let's do one more. Y equals 0. As long as the equation starts with Y equals, we can do that, but I think it might be confusing for you. But, nope, I don't see similar answer. So we're going to do this. All right, I'm going back to Y equals, and I'm going to hit clear. Now, I'm going to do something else sneaky first, because it'll be hard. I know what this looks like already, and I know it'll be hard for you to see if I don't do something to make the line more visible. So I've just gone two places to the left and my goal is going to be to find a darker line. So I hit enter 
Oh, that's nice and thick. Let's try that. Okay. Now, come back here with your right arrow key. Boom, boom. And we're going to type y equals 0. Notice there are no x's. Now, if I graph it, this is what it looks like. It is the x-axis. It just so happens that everything, every line, even the axes themselves, have equations. And the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0, which is why I wanted it to be darker so that you could tell that, well, this is a little darker than that. All right, so this is what we're going to be graphing. Now, if you want two points, go second graph. Notice that all of the y coordinates are 0 because y equals 0, and x can be any number you want it to be. So why don't I choose the first point, negative 1, 0, and then I'll choose, how about 4, 0. Okay, there, here, all right, first one is negative 1, 0. Negative 1, 0 is right there on the x-axis, and 4, 0 is there on the x-axis. Our line is graphed, hit save, there it is, now we're going to check our answer, and we're going to be told well done. Now this we can't do with most calculators. Some people with 83 pluses and 84 pluses uh, have an app that will graph a line that has only X's in it, but this one won't. So I'm just going to make it go away, and I'm going to do this on paper. Okay, can do it right here. X plus 6 equals 0. Now we can pick an X and a Y table. Choose any numbers you want for X. Actually, you can't do that, can you? Choose any numbers such that you can add it to 6, and you'll get 0. There's only one number, negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0, and there really is no other number you can choose and have a true answer there. But as it so happens, this is the line if you were to subtract 6 from both sides, this is the line x equals negative 6. And what that says is that x has got to be negative 6 no matter what. And you can choose any old numbers you want. Negative 5,000. Oh, my goodness. You can choose any old numbers you want for y. x is going to be negative 6. So the easy way to do this is to get a graph, find x equals negative 6, it's right here, okay? So let's get the graph line, choose x equals negative 6, and go click, and then go up 3 or 4 units, or down 3 or 4 units. Save your graph, check answer, perfectly done, okay, you've learned how to graph. See you later.